Well hello and welcome to GMRSM and you are watching how to clean up your Garry's mod folder. So I did make a previous video a couple of years ago how to clean up your Garry's mod folder but it's a little bit outdated now. Garry's mod has had some updates so the methods we need to use to clean up have changed a little bit. So that is why this little new tutorial is here. GMRSM Total Nerdry Channel and before we get into how to clean your folder, I would want to tell you that you would really want to watch another video after this. And that is how to clean up your C drive. I made a like general Windows tutorial on how to clean up your C drive. And I highly recommend you to try that out. Because uh, you have more space on your drive than you think you have. And that video offers you to get up to like 100 gigabytes back because there is a smart trick we can use to move around uh, like pictures folder for example um, and almost for any Windows 10 system I can promise you'll get back at least 7 gigs because there is a little special trick we can do that so check that video after this one this video we will specifically focus on cleaning up your Garry's mod folder so that it's uh, basically as uh, new and how you do it. So let's get into it. So first up you should get up your Steam client and you'll find Garry's mod in your games list and just right click on it and you go to properties. Inside properties we have different kinds of settings and inside here we also have workshop and to get rid of uh, like add-ons you don't use anymore you'll have to unsubscribe to them via the workshop because otherwise they will automatically re-download every time you try to remove them so uh, just scroll through this list and uh, if you find something you don't need you'll just uh, click it and unsubscribe and if you want to check out an add-on more carefully you can just click the name on it if you have the same lord of same mod you can just check them up here and then you'll see which one is the newest one. And when you've gone through this list you will just click um, well, cancel subscription and they will be removed. Now if you want to check it a little bit more carefully you just go to Garry's Mod Workshop. You hover over your files here and then you'll uh, just select uh, subscribed items. And inside here, you will find all of your uh, subscribed items in the order you've subscribed to them. So can be a good idea to go back kind of to the earliest thing here. So we can see we can cancel the subscription of that one. And we can just go to the first page here. And then you'll slowly just go back and check what you've subscribed to several years ago and unsubscribe it if it's nothing you want to use anymore. So just go through this list and make sure you've removed all the add-ons you do not want. This might be tedious and it feels like we do the same thing twice but this is the best way to do it and you'll need to do this to actually get rid of all that stuff. So uh, I'm feeling done now. I've gone through all my uh, add-ons I don't need and I'm subscribed to those I don't want. Now we can go back to Gmod properties and select local files and you will select to browse the local files here. And now we are conveniently getting ourselves into this Garry's Mod folder. First I'm just going to show you we can actually go back to a Steam Apps folder and inside here we have a folder that's called Workshop and you can see this this folder is actually real big it's like um, 20 gigabytes and most of that is from this 4000 folder. This is our workshop content from Garry's Mod. And some people might recommend you to delete this. But you shouldn't delete this by hand like that. Um, you should unsubscribe to the add-ons you don't want to. And they will get rid. They will get deleted from here automatically. You can see this was an add-on and it was removed. So the files in this folder is, uh, well, gone. And uh, the empty folders really don't take up any space. Yeah, so here we are common Garry's mod. And inside here we'll do some cleanup. We'll do the basic thing first. So what we need to do is we'll go into the Garry's mod folder. And inside the Garry's mod folder you'll see the add-ons folder. 
Here you have your stuff and add-ons and stuff like that. And here is where the add-ons went before uh, they went to the workshop folder. So if you just install the game and have a lot of mods, uh, the add-ons might be not be in here. But uh, for me, I have some add-ons here and we can actually remove add-ons directly from here and they will get re-downloaded. You can see it's the same type of files as in the workshop content 4000 folder, but um, people have reported the games, the game kind of gets messed up if you remove it from here. But inside the add-ons folder here, so we went back to the add-ons folder, you can remove stuff without you will get problems and stuff will get re-downloaded if you remove them from here. And this is only if they are on the workshop. If they're not on the workshop, well, then you can't remove them from here because then you won't get them back. But if they are on the workshop, uh, you'll get them just re-downloaded automatically. So personally, I'm just going to remove these files from the add-ons folder and they will get re-downloaded automatically. Now here we have some other stuff. Um, we have like uh, some mods that I've installed myself, which are in folders like prop to mesh um, and that we just downloaded from GitHub. So here I have ACF and ACF Combat Extended. Uh, these are old because I'm using ACF3. So I'll just, uh, I can just delete these. And if it's if it's big, just uh, just do like shift delete, and you'll de delete stuff permanently. And you can delete stuff if you have folders like big folders like ACF and stuff. Uh, it's like two hundred fifty megabytes and stuff like that. Uh, you probably know it because you probably installed it yourself, and then you'll just remove it from here. The next thing we can clean up is the cache, and inside of here you'll find like. Lua cache and workshop and here in workshop it's the big one. So we'll just delete all the GMA files in the workshop cache. So we'll just click delete and they're now gone. And they'll get re-downloaded again if you'll need to like join servers and stuff like that. That's just the cache so it's okay to delete whatever is inside the workshop cache. Uh, the Lua might be a good idea to keep. It's not very big, but if this is like several gigs for you for some reason, it's probably a good idea to clean that up too. All right, now we have cleaned up what we can clean up in the Gmod folder. So what we'll do now is we'll start the uh, we'll start the game basically. But do also note that we have a screenshots uh, like page here. And if you have taken like several hundreds of screenshots for some reason, I don't know, I don't have very many, but if you do have that, you'll might want to clean up the screenshots folder too, just so you know. Anyways, uh, let us start the game. And oh, by the way, I run my Garris mod in 64 bits. And if you want to get better performance, please check out my video about that. I'll try to, uh, to link it in the description if I don't uh, forget that. So let's let's start this thing. Otherwise, it's uh, on my channel, so you can just find it there. And you know, we removed a lot of mods. So basically, all the mods I did remove from the folder with the mods, it's re-downloading them and extracting them. So that's why it's working here. And that's why it's so important that the first step of this video where you just carefully go through all your subscribed add-ons and unsubscribe to the ones you don't want anymore. It's, poor, it's important you do that properly because otherwise you will just re-download everything you just removed. And you just want to re-download the things you actually want. Now we're going to do another little cleaning step here. You will click... Uh, whatever key you have to get your console. For me, it's F10. For some people, it's the squiggly line, uh, but get your console. And inside of here, we will write in a little command. Menu, underscore, cleanup, G, mass, with one S. And then you'll just run this little uh, command. And the command only runs when you have re-downloaded all your add-ons again, uh, since we removed them from, from there. Uh, and when you've done that, they will uh, delete unused GMA files. So there we go. If we missed anything there, it should be 
removed. So we should have cleaned it up very nice and good. And here we got a little bonus tip. Um, right down here in the right corner, you can see we have a little problems button. If you click that, you'll get some Lua errors, problems and stuff like that. Um, and some add-on problems that are showing up here, they actually have a little button that says quick fix and you can just quick fix it. And that's kind of handy. I already did that, so that's not showing. So by doing this, you should have restored some good gigabytes back. And remember the files are in your recycle bin if you didn't do a permanent re uh, delete. So just go to your desktop, go into recycle bin and empty it. If you are sure that the files you removed should actually have been removed. Uh, if you messed something up, you can still restore the files from there. So just check that a little bit. But when you have checked that, empty recycle bin and you will get back your space directly. Uh, and in my case, I got back uh, 50 gigs. So that's really nice. And uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you. And if you want to clean up more, space from your hard drive, maybe Gary's mod wasn't the biggest culprit, you should definitely check out my um, clean C drive tutorial link in description. And also I have a little boost Gmod performance uh, video as well, which is also or should be in the description so that you can get better FPS. Anyways, hope you liked this little tutorial and do leave a like and do stay tuned to the channel. We have a new Gary's mod video every Wednesday. This is your host, Jim Odesimo, we're signing out.